Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Please know that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion. So I am here to address very briefly Shanita Foster bringing her ass to my channel talking shit because I exposed her for being the scammer that her customer felt that she was. Now, if y'all haven't had a chance to check out the video that I did a few days ago about Shanita, go ahead on and check it out. But meanwhile, I'll provide a brief summary of what the video consisted of, okay? So someone had contacted me through my DMs, okay? She was hurt and upset, disappointed about the treatment that she received after paying her hard-earned money for Shanita's group coaching class, okay? She said that pretty much she paid for the class, was promised a Zoom link to attend the class, and never received it. Didn't receive anything until 11.30 at night, okay? She said that she had received a message saying that the class was canceled. And she was then offered a Facebook link to where she was told that pretty much she would be getting some fucking inspirational quotes. The thing is, you don't wait until after the fact to tell someone that the class is canceled, especially when they already know that the shit is canceled because your ass didn't show up due to you having your ass at a concert when you were supposed to have your ass on a Zoom doing what the fuck your customers paid you to do. Furthermore, the customer said that she never received the link. Never received the link. As she told Shanita's assistant, the assistant never told the customer that that class was rescheduled. She instead offered that girl a link to where she would talk about inspirational quotes, okay, on Facebook, which is not what that girl paid for. So she asked for a refund. And three whole days later, Shanita reached out to the girl acting like, you know, she didn't understand why she felt scammed. And like I said, she felt scammed because she paid for group coaching from your ass, Shanita, and you had your ass at a concert when you were supposed to be on Zoom. Then you called her three days later with excuses as to why you couldn't attend. You said your nephew was on life support and that your oldest daughter was back at the oncologist because she still had cancer. I said that I felt like you were lying and I stand on that. And let me make something else known for those who don't know. The video that I did on Shanita a few days ago was also in response to a live that she had did previously talking down on content creators because she was mad about how they responded to her saying, pray for Martell. I took it that she was saying content creators don't make no money. That's pretty much what she was saying. Okay. She went into talking about how we needed clicks and views. And so pretty much the people shouldn't give them to us. Okay. So I had an issue with that. So I got on my channel and I addressed the issue. So today I saw her down in my comments and she wasn't happy about being the topic of discussion in my video. And I can care less. Okay. But we going to talk about it because she was down there talking shit. So I'm going to talk something back. But first let me share what it was that she said down in my comments, okay? So she said, I love this. I am clickbait. She said she paid, as in the customer that felt scam. She paid. She didn't show up for class. And the site says no refunds. God bless you all. No one can destroy a male and I friendship because we are friends in real life. Last Never called y'all broke. I said people make money off making up lies and gossip about people. I get it. Grow your vocabulary and stop calling people, especially black women, out of their name. If I wasn't clickbait, I wouldn't be on your channel. God bless you. Keep using me. I love blessing the people. Get that money. That's what she said. So let me, where do I start? First of all, bitch, you're a liar. You are a liar and a scammer, in my opinion, and I'm about to show the people how much of a liar you are. You should have just set this one out. You should have just let this shit die out because I wasn't going to say nothing else about your ass, okay? But you wanted to come through talking shit, so let's go. First of all, you are not Mel's friend in real life. She just don't know it yet. You are no different than the other opportunists that attached themselves to her, and she had to get rid of them. Not my business, so I'm going to leave that shit right there, okay? Second of all, I'm a college graduate. I have a degree that comes with a high GPA and about four honor societies, okay? 
would have probably exceeded a 4.0, okay? On damn near every paper that I wrote, I received praises from my professors, okay? So at the end of the day, I'm saying that to say, my vocabulary is just fine. I don't give a fuck about you telling me to expand my vocabulary because you mad that I called your ass a bitch. My vocabulary is just fine. Okay, but if you really want me to expand it, how about I'll expand my vocabulary when you expand your bank account with money that don't come from scamming? Because we're not going to act like that particular customer was your only victim. Okay, alleged victim. Okay, I'll say it like that. But I got receipts, baby. There's more. Okay, there are more people coming forth. There's one right up underneath this the, the video that I did of you a few days ago saying that she ordered a damn t-shirt from your ass and never received it. Okay? Then after I exposed your ass a few days ago, another one jumped into my DM saying how she gave your ass $300 and she didn't receive anything. So she was thanking me for exposing your ass. There's more, okay? Now you can keep it going. And it's going to get real ugly real quick. And because I know how ugly it can get real quick, I did you a favor. And I blocked your ass from saying anything else over here on this channel. Because when a bitch talk, I talk back. Especially when you want to come to my platform and accuse me of lying. I ain't met a bitch yet that I have to lie on. I pride myself on coming with nothing but the facts. And the facts are, you are a fucking liar because you know damn well that girl did not just show up for the class. Okay? She reached out to y'all asses before the day of the class asking for the link that y'all said that y'all was going to give her. She never got the link. In my opinion, because you had no intentions on teaching the fucking class. Okay? Because your ass had already had plans to go to that damn concert. How the fuck your nephew, who allegedly is on life support, and your daughter, who allegedly has cancer, get in the way of you doing your group coaching and not in the way of you going to that damn concert? Your daughter, Amber, was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 2021. Since then, she has put on her website that she is cancer-free. Just nine weeks ago, you yourself put a hashtag up under one of your videos with Amber and said cancer free. And I really do hope that she is cancer free. I wish nothing but the best for her. So I'm wondering if she's cancer free, why are you telling your customers something totally different after she want answers as to why she paid for your class and your ass didn't show up? If you are out here lying about something as serious as that, that's some trifling ass shit. That means that you are the worst kind of person. Okay? Because in my opinion, you are a scammer and a liar. Now keep calm while I show these people how much of a liar you are. Because now that your ass have been exposed, you want to get up under my video and say that customer paid and never showed up. You are a liar. You know damn well that girl paid and you the one that didn't show up. And here's the proof. What you saying out of your own mouth that that class was canceled. Y'all listen to this shit. Hey, just about this is Dr. Shania Foster. Is saying that you would like a refund. You felt like you were being scammed. I'm not quite sure what you're being scammed of. Um, unfortunately, we canceled uh, our Zoom on Sunday because my nephew is actually on life support and my daughter is back at the oncologist. Uh, my oldest daughter uh, still has cancer. So unfortunately didn't post that on Instagram, um, but that what was what was happening on Sunday. So we did a reschedule. Um, I'm actually doing a Zoom tonight, so I'm not quite sure uh, what you got scammed on, but I wanted you to hear my voice. You can give me a call back. At so which one is it, Shanita? Is it A, she paid and just didn't show up? Or B, she paid and your ass didn't show up? I'll take B for 500, Alex. You are a liar. Then after you got in my comments talking shit, you went and hopped into that customer's DM telling her that you will be taking legal action against her. 
Y'all, she sent that girl a DM today saying, good afternoon. It has been brought to my attention that you said you have been scammed. I will be taking legal action since when you paid and you clicked and you clicked the agreement. Also for defamation of character. May God bless you. And next time, please read the terms and conditions before signing up for anything. Group coaching terms. First of all, she said that when she paid for that class, there was nothing there but a link to pay. There was no contract. There was nothing. She never signed a contract and you will not be able to prove that shit in court. And you know that. And you hopping from channel to channel trying to defend yourself. Nobody cares. Nobody cares because at the end of the day, if you take that girl to court, you are not going to be able to prove nothing that you got your asses on that those channels and said. And we both know that. We both know that. Fuck that agreement. Okay. Because so basically what you're saying is never mind you taking her money and your ass opting to go to a concert instead of the coaching class. She signed an agreement. And so she should just shut the fuck up, even though she didn't get the service that she paid for. And she didn't sign an agreement. How about don't take her money for group coaching. And instead of giving her that. Try to throw her some inspirational quotes, okay, that she can get for free. So you going to sue her because she signed, you, you saying that she signed some agreement? You going to sue her because she told the folks that she didn't get what you agreed to give her? You won't. To tell me to stop calling black women out their name, but black women out here scamming people. How about you stop that shit before you try to tell me what the fuck to do? And even then, you don't tell me what the fuck to do. I'm grown. And the words that I decide to use over here on this app is what the fuck it is. And it does not define me. Furthermore, I'm not over here trying to impress nobody. Now, let's talk about that agreement that you speak of that I believe that you just made up. Okay, let me read it to y'all. What Shanita sent this girl. So the this so-called agreement that just popped up today. That she's claiming that the person signed or whatever. It said, I understand and consent that I am participating in a group coaching program. My participation is voluntary and I am responsible for my own learning and engagement through the course. Non-refundable payment. I acknowledge that the payment for this group coaching program is non-refundable, whether I attend the sessions or not. I understand that I will not be entitled to a refund or compensation. Compensation, schedule and attendance. I understand that once the schedule and sessions are provided, it is my responsibility to attend them. If I miss any sessions, it is my responsibility to catch up on any missed content or coursework. <laughs> This agreement applies to someone who paid for group coaching and didn't show up. And Shanita knows that. So what she has done, in my opinion, is created this false narrative that the coaching session did, in fact, take place. But the girl just never attended when she know that shit ain't true. She even said herself in a voicemail, a voicemail that will for sure be admissible in court, that the coaching session was canceled. And there is proof. That her ass was at the concert. And you have to prove defamation, meaning prove that you ain't no scammer. And I don't think you're going to be able to do that, Shanita. And that girl is allowed to voice her feelings. She said that she felt scammed. You can't sue nobody about their feelings. What's going to happen is if you sue her, her lawyer is going to be forced to prove that you really are a scammer, in my opinion. So you better keep that in mind. And a lot of shit could end up coming out. So you might want to keep your cold and let it the fuck go because you know that you ain't got a leg to stand on in this case. You just want to scare her into silence. OK, you're going to take her money, not render her the service that she paid for and then try to intimidate her with a fucking lawsuit. That's some trifling ass shit. So she took the girl money, didn't show up for class. The girl exposed her and now she want to sue the girl because she mad that she's been exposed for doing bad business. We got another Stormy still on our hands, y'all. Stormy got mad because the truth was coming out about her scamming her customers and the people that she did business with. And she would get down in the comments and threaten to sue. 
So it's looking like Shanita done made up a lie, saying the girl just never attended, even though Shanita is clearly heard on the voicemail saying that the session was canceled, make it make sense. I tell you about them Detroit people, baby. And while you threatening that girl with a lawsuit, you better believe she going to sue your ass right the fuck back, okay? This the same shit Maurice did. Tried to shut the people up with a frivolous ass lawsuit because he didn't want the truth getting out about his ass. Now look at him. Got himself and own network tied up in a $105 million lawsuit that I orchestrated, bitch. His ass over there so quiet you can hear a mouse piss on cotton because he's scared shitless. OK, the same shit can happen to you, Shanita. And just for the record, I love investigating scammers. So if that girl tell me anything about her getting sued, it's up and stuck until I find out all the dirt. Because before that girl ever appeared in my DMs, I had already had my suspicions of your ass. OK, now, before I log off like you should have done before you said that stupid shit down in my comments and in her DMs, let me circle back to your comment that was under my video. You said that I was pretty much making up lies and gossip about you, that you wouldn't be on my channel if I wasn't using you for clickbait. First of all, who are you for me to be using as clickbait? I can talk about Laura Ingalls from Little House on the fucking Prairie and bring in more views than I did from talking about your ass. And I don't have to make up lies about you or nobody else. Some people are just fucked up individuals and I go with that, the truth. And that's why y'all mad. Because y'all want me to be lying so bad. When I come with nothing but the facts, I work hard to get the facts. I know how I feel to click on a video and hear nothing but bullshit under the guise of truth, breaking news. So I put a lot of time and effort and research into my channel. So for your ghetto ass to try to come through and accuse me of lying and then insulting my vocabulary as well as my intelligence, that shit ain't going to fly. The only words in your vocabulary are alive, five star, who's your coach, donate, okay? And you want to try to insult me? There are a lot of words in my vocabulary, baby, especially the ones that mean scammer by definition. Don't play with me. Okay? Why you telling her that you going to sue her? I should sue your ass for pain and suffering because when I saw that your ass had the nerve to come to my channel and call me a liar, I grew extremely pissed, stressed, and fucked around and dropped my breakfast sausage on the floor that I fixed me for breakfast and I was hungry as shit. That right there is mental anguish, but that's okay. I couldn't eat my sausage, so I came through to eat your ass up. Okay, how about that? And that's going to be all for this video. Okay, y'all take care. And I will chat with y'all in the next one.